On Sunday, the fourth day into Endeavour's mission, Thuid and Hebe stepped into the payload bay to begin the first rescue attempt. While Thuid grappled the satellite, Hebe, from his unique vantage point in the payload bay, served as an extra pair of eyes for the cockpit. Melnick operated the robot arm from inside the orbiter. Okay, you ready to go for it? Okay, go for it. Hey, Pierre, here we go. Unfortunately, the cards were stacked against the crew this day. In a little bit, Bruce. Coming in. I missed it. Hang on. Okay, I'll have to catch you next time. Okay, we got a rate on it now. The capture attempts caused the four and a half ton satellite to wobble so much it became impossible for Thuit to attach the capture bar. Endeavor was forced to back away to avoid a collision with the satellite. Verify the shower cap pedals that we and play ever, Dan. Uh, Rendezvous and, and Fido's yeah. are working on okay. a best maneuver for you to back out here so we can uh, save, stabilize for about uh, six, eight hours. We'll try to come in again tomorrow. Okay, uh, and that sounds good. We got... Uh, foot restraints, the trio positioned themselves for the capture. Hebe on the edge of the payload bay, and Akers on the strut spanning the payload bay. Thuit, on the robot arm, adjusted his movements in coordination with the satellite. Meanwhile, Brandon Stein positioned the crew at eye level with the underside of the satellite. In this attempt, every detail had to be exact. If the coding, it may just come right back to Tom. Over. It may. That's, I guess all we can do is kind of sit here and wait for the right opportunity. And I haven't got anything else on my dance card. Over. <laughs> yeah, real easy, guys. Real easy. Don't bring us any closer, Dan. Okay, I'm stopping it. I'm afraid it's going to rise out of my reach, but we'll see. Over. And, as the saying goes, the third time was a charm. I can get it. Can you get yours, Tom? I can get mine. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's do it. Watching down here, we got uh, a lot of smiles down here, Dan. It ain't over yet. Indeed, it wasn't over yet. But with the most difficult part of the mission behind them, things could now proceed as planned. After rotating the massive satellite, Thuid and Hebe attached the capture bar. Once in place, Melnick maneuvered Thuid under the satellite to tighten the bar. To do this, Melnick had to move the robot arm, with Thuid still attached, extremely close to the orbiter and truss structure. This unexpected task was not part of the pre-mission training. Once Melnick used the robot arm to lower the satellite into the cargo bay, a new booster rocket was secured. When it was all over, another record had been set for the longest spacewalk